Greetings, it's Dr. Macy Link again. If you haven't guessed from the title, this is an updated version of our anomalous classification and working hierarchy list. So, if you want to watch that, the link is in the description. Don't worry, I'll wait. Hey, welcome back. Since we got that out of the way, let's get into it. One of the newest anomalous classification that the cryptid agency has is Cautious. This one is mainly reserved for artifacts, but it's known that a few entities are assigned to this class as well. In either case, the cautious classification is for those that could pose a potential benefit or threat to the agency and or humanity. Plus, they remain dormant 95% of the time. Typically, having a low to no risk of going against anything doctrinal. But for the 5%, it usually means that someone or something has interacted with it. It's either that, or they're due to activate its paranormal activities at this time. Because of their unpredictability and how potentially sensitive they are, these anomalies are kept in their own isolated rooms in the heavy or dark containment zones. Now for the latest anomalous classification of the day, we have the undetermined class. I'll make this one quick. This specific anomalous classification should not be confused as the aforementioned undesignated class back in the original video. Undetermined is a classification temporarily assigned to anomalies until a proper classification fits them, which may take months to a few years for this to happen. Basically, it's a transition class prior to a defined classification of an anomaly. Another one of the newest tiers we have on the hierarchy list is the Gamma tier, also known as the Cleanup Crew. It's just like the janitorial staff on the E tier. However, they do their duties outside of the cryptid agency. But not only that, they're also experts in the forensic field and multiple forms of combat. Up next, we have the Zeta tier, aka the Exorcist. This item in our next list is where human employees use magic to capture or expel non-corporal beings. Granted, this tier exists way before the Death Squad Alphas were a thing. And ever since the Alphas' arrival, the Zetas no longer exist due to it over-complicating the already complicated working list. And this held potential dangers. Plus, the term Zeta now has a negative connotation according to the administrators. Despite these reasons, only a handful of employees, particularly human, want the exorcist back. Of course, underneath a new Greek letter. But no progress has been made as of lately. Now, for the final update of this video, we have the Beta tier, aka the Academic Center staff. It has its own categories, which I'll go over right now. Theta S, the headmistress. The headmistress is the one in charge of the academic center, acting as its leading director. More about her later. Theta A, the headmasters. They work directly under the headmistress, and they also report anything to her. Plus, they're the center's top security guards. Theta B, educators. They're basically the teachers of the classrooms. Theta C, canteen workers. They prepare food and serve them to the people in the center. And finally, we have the other D. Others. This means different employees have other miscellaneous jobs inside the academic center. Nothing too special. This concludes the update on the anomalous classification and working hierarchy list. Once again, this is Dr. Macy Ling. And remember, may the council have mercy on your souls. Wait a second. God damn it, we haven't even talked more about the headmistress. Oh well, someone's going to get fired.